with so many programming languages in the market with each programming language having its own area of applications. It can be extremely difficult to pick one. Keeping this thing in mind, let's start with our top 10 programming languages that will rule 2021. Now before we dive into our top 10 list, please don't miss out on checking our Great Learning Academy, a free platform wherein we have tons of courses available, both in English as well as in Hindi. The link is attached in the description. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on important updates. At number 10, we have Kotlin. Kotlin is an Android focused programming language which means that it is an official language for Android application development, developed by JetBrains. Due to the influence of Google, its popularity has grown. It's concise than Java, meaning that if you have written a code in Java and then you're trying to convert it into Kotlin, it will be 20% shorter. It's a versatile and interoperable programming language, meaning that Kotlin can co-work or it can work alongside with Java. Kotlin can run in the browsers with the help of interactive editors. It's an object-oriented programming language which is statically typed in nature. Better internal tool and management models along with error-free and faster performance. Now let's move look at the features of Kotlin. Kotlin can run in Java and Java code can run in Kotlin, which means that this is an interoperable language. Web and application development are possible in Kotlin. The code that is written in Java and if you're trying to convert it into Kotlin, it will be 20% shorter as compared to Java. It's a very compact and easy to learn programming language. If we look at the application, Kotlin helps pin interest to be robust as it enhances its user experience. Kotlin is also used in Netflix to optimize its reliability and speed, which is absolutely necessary. Along with these, it is also used in Google, Amazon and Uber. At number 9, we have Swift. If you're looking for performance, Swift is the language that you should go for. Swift prevents error and provides readability. According to Apple Incorporation, Swift is twice as fast as Objective-C and eight times faster than Python. It's a programming language that is used for iOS and OS development, which was developed by Apple Incorporation. It's safety, meaning that shortened feedback loop, allowing to reduce efforts in bug fixing and not deploying low quality code. It's best of Objective-C, which means that the legacy code that was written in C, which makes it slower, what Swift does, it removes those limitations. It takes ideas from popular languages such as Objective-C, Python, etc. During 2014, Swift was the universal language and it was used in almost each and every Apple product. Now let's move on to the features. It's scalable and it's very easy to implement. It is much more readable as compared to Objective-C and it is interoperable with Objective-C, meaning that if something is written in Swift, it can be easily converted into Objective-C and vice versa. It's faster as compared to Objective-C and Python. Now let's look at the applications. Keeping its robustness and popularity in mind, Facebook used this programming language. Due to its reliability, Uber also used as we know that within if something is not reliable then we won't be able to book our cabs etc. It was used in Lyft which is the fact that same functions that were written in Objective-C was written in Swift which was much more reduced. In Lyft almost 75,000 lines of code when we converted it into Swift it was three times less than that. It is also used in applications like Khan Academy, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Airbnb. At number eight, we have C Sharp. So if you're looking for a programming language in which you can build games, then you should definitely go for C Sharp. It's a general purpose programming language designed by Microsoft for the .NET framework. 
and it is still considered to be one of the best low level languages. It's widely used for creating games on a Unity game engine. For example, games like RimWorld, Shadowrun Returns, Wasteland 2 and Rust are some of the games that are built in C Sharp. It is an object oriented programming language which was developed by Anders Hansberg. It's also used for web development, mobile application development, for building games and networking. It is interoperable with any .NET adaptable language. Now let's move on to the features. It is similar to C++. It's easy to learn, very fast and simple. It's scalable and it is an open source programming language. If we talk about its application, it is used in Windows applications like Microsoft Word, Skype, Visual Studio, Internet Explorer and some of the applications are in the, in the field of mobile application development such as Fox Sports, NBC Universal, Slack. Its applications are also in terms of anti-hacking softwares like WikiLeaks, Anonymous and it is also used in World Bank due to its security. At number 7 we have R. R is considered to be one of the promising programming language when you are dealing with statistical computation. In data science, when you're dealing with data sets which are more complex and large, we can draw useful information with the help of statistical computation. It has some very important libraries such as ggplot2 which is best library for data visualization. It has also some libraries like NITR which is used for generating dynamic report generations. MLR for performing machine learning tasks and R crawler which is used for domain based web crawling and content scrapping. So these are some of the important libraries in it was developed by Ross Ihaka and Robert Gentleman. It is very easy and accessible programming language and its libraries are designed for data science and data analysis. It is a very beginner friendly language which can be used in finance, healthcare, social media, e-commerce, right? In finance, there's a library R Shiny which can be used and which is used by Bank of America for financial report generation. Now let's move on to its features. It has a large vibrant community. It's an open source and freely available language. It's easy to learn and flexible. It's a cross platform compatible and scalable language. It's very easy to use R when you're dealing with mathematical computations. Now let's look at the applications like Facebook. It is used to update the status and social network graphs. In Microsoft, it is used for Xbox matchmaking services. For Mozilla, it is used for visualizing web activity. Also, it is used in Google, IBM and Paytm. At number six, we have PHP. If you're looking to create your first website, then you should definitely go for PHP. It is an open source backend language which is used in more than 80% of websites on the internet. It has no prerequisites that, that means it can be learned very easily. It's a language used for web development. Its simplicity and versatility makes it easier for us to use on platforms like Unix, Linux and Windows. Its processing speed is very high and due to the fact that it is a server side scripting language and an object oriented programming language, it makes PHP much more cost efficient and scalable. Now, if we talk about features, it can be used in desktop applications. It has a huge community support. It's very easy to learn. It's very fast and flexible programming language. If we talk about applications, e-commerce applications like Amazon, Alibaba, OpenCart and Presto Shop are built in PHP. We can also create dynamic websites whose pages are controlled like in Joomla and WordPress. If we talk about Facebook, this PHP was the first language that it was written in. Later on, they derived a new PHP, named it Hack, which was developed for easier development and error-free development. At number five, we have Go. Go or Golang is built by Google. It is efficient like C or C++. It is compatible with cloud. It fits well for general performance oriented cloud software. If you're converting the legacy code into Go, it is fairly simple. It is widely used in startups that are 
there in Silicon Valley and also for multi-threaded systems which are obviously used when we are talking about distributed systems. It is an open source application which is a server language. It is similar to C programming but with additional features like memory management, garbage collector. When we talk about features of Go, it is used for web applications, it can be used for creating APIs, it can be used for creating web servers, it is a fastest growing language, it is a high performance programming language. If we talk about its application in Netflix, there is something known as Rent Proxy which is written in Go that is used for checking thousands of concurrent connections and also for load and correctness testing in Netflix. It is also used in blockchain, SoundCloud, Timesheets, Dropbox and it is also used popular DevOps tools are written in Go such as Dockers and open containers like Kubernetes. At number 4 we have C++. It is a 35 year old programming language whose performance is very high and is very much reliable. 2011 release was considered to be the most largest release but recently with C++20 that is considered to be even larger release than C++11. In C++20 there are some additional features such as creating modules and coroutines. It also consists of some libraries like STL which is extensively used in the field of competitive programming. C++ is a mid-level language that is associated with low-level programming and also a high-level application like GUI and desktop applications. It's a compiled type language. C++ is machine independent and also platform centric. It is an object-oriented programming language which uses all the four programming pillars that are there like abstraction, polymorphism, inheritance and encapsulation. It also supports pointers which helps us to directly access a memory. Now let's talk about features. It is simple and platform independent language. It is mid-level and structured programming language. It is very fast in terms of execution. It has enriched libraries like STL. It is very efficient and easy to learn programming language. If we talk about applications, you can create operating systems like Ubuntu and Windows. You can also create graphical user interface based applications like Adobe and also Apple operating systems, window operating systems. You can also write C++ when you are trying to create browsers which is used for rendering purpose and needs to have faster execution. So some of the browsers that are written in C++ is Mozilla Firefox, Mozilla Thunderbird and Google Chrome. All of these are written in C++. Also for graphics, Adobe, Unisoft, Unreal and Zynga are there. For database development, MongoDB and MySQL are also written in C++. At number 3, we have Java. Java is a high-level object-oriented programming language that was designed by James Gosling. It is the most widely used programming language which is evident from the fact that more than 80% of Fortune 500 companies use Java. Java has continuously held the number one slot in terms of popularity from 2004 to 2019. It follows the principle of Vora which means write once and run anywhere. If we talk about features of Java, it is very simple, object oriented and platform independent language. It is very secured, efficient and multi-threaded programming language. If we talk about applications, we can use Java for desktop graphical user interface applications like Swing and JavaFX. It is highly secure so we can create web based applications for health, social, security and education. So it is also used in NASA, Whirlwind, Wikipedia Search, Hadoop and games like Minecraft. Scientific calculations and mathematical operations and low maintenance applications can also be created with the help of Java. For example, we have MATLAB. At number two, we have Python. It is an open source programming language which is growing day by day. It is an object oriented programming language which is preferred in the areas such as machine learning, deep learning, artificial intelligence and data science. 
It also contains a collection of libraries such as TensorFlow, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, wherein NumPy is used for calculating numerical expressions, Pandas is used for data manipulation, Matplotlib is used for data visualization. It also consists of app APIs such as Keras, which is used for creating deep learning models. If we talk about features of Python, it is very easy to learn. It is scalable. Web development can be done and game development can be also done. It has a huge growing community support. If we talk about applications other than YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest, SurveyMonkey, Quora, Reddit. Other than these applications, we can also create frameworks such as Django and Pyramid, which is used so that we can easily write our code. Efficiency is there, security is there, and scalability is there. We can also create games such as Disney, Doom Tower, and Pygame. We can also create applications which are based on web scrapping. We can also create micro frameworks such as Flask and Portal. At number one, we have JavaScript. JavaScript is known as the verb of a web page. If HTML is the noun, then all the actions that you perform on a web page is your JavaScript. It is an object oriented programming language that uses just in time compiler. So what is this just in time compiler? It is nothing but the best of two worlds. That is your compiler and interpreter. It is everywhere and all the browsers are installed with it. JavaScript application ranges from web development, mobile development. It is very easy, simple and compatible with HTML. You can also, if you're looking for a career change, then it is a must to have skill if you're looking for any software engineering roles. If we talk about features of JavaScript, it runs inside the browser. Although we have something known as Node.js wherein we can run this JavaScript outside our browser. Compilation is not required. Responsive interfaces we can create from JavaScript. It is very easy to implement. Community support is there and it is platform independent. With the growing maturity of this language, meaning we can be a full stack developer as for front end, we can have its library, the most popular library that is React JS is there. We can use that for front end side of the things and for back end side of the things we can use Node.js, thus making us a full stack developer. If we talk about Facebook, more than 20,000 components are written in React JS. Similarly, some of its applications are Netflix, Candy Crush, and it can be also used for game development as well. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on important updates. Thank you.